You may be asking why the hell someone would like to build something like this. Because you can buy them. But um, yeah, the ones that you can buy, there are um, less keys, maybe one octave or something like this. And you pay 400 euros for, for this device. And yeah, the materials for this one uh, did cost me about 120, 150. The most expensive things <laughs> were not even the sensors, which were uh, one euro a piece, but the springs, the springs were even more expensive. I just bought them in the hardware store. And uh, now I would just order them in China beforehand and wait the month to, the, uh, to get them delivered. They can much cheaper uh, in the internet somewhere but I at, at this time I didn't like to wait devices with this many keys do cost around 2000 euros they may be better quality they are for sure but um, yeah I got for 2000 I got this device plus the whole lab for free and I learned so many things about electronics and building stuff and um, got this practice. Nobody can take this from me unless maybe I uh, do some crazy experiment and delete my memory. But uh, I hope this doesn't happen. This was the answer for the question why build something like this? So there is still the question why would someone want to have something like this. I like the anime Akira. It's really old now, maybe you don't know it, but it's a really famous one. And the uh, soundtrack is really, really great. And there is a part in one of the uh, tracks which uh, has the organ playing. And it's magnificent. I really love this part and I really like to play this myself. So I bought uh, my master keyboard over here and I um, yeah I tried to learn to play it by listening and um, because there was no sheet music for this available and at the internet I, I looked for it it's not available it's from the 80s so it's really hard to get uh, um, any source for this and um, yeah, I tried to play this and um, there were some tones always missing in the lower range. I first thought maybe this is some kind of resonance or whatever and then I realized okay there is uh, something more and um, yeah I have to pitch my keyboard but then I have um, yeah I have to cover a really huge range which um, yeah I can't play like this. I all I can I just need maybe three hands or something even if if it would fit on the keyboard so um, to get the complete um, tones or the, the sheet music of this I just have written my own um, yeah a note recognition uh, with some, some DFT um, I just uh, analyzed because organ is quite simple to, to analyze it's uh, almost uh, yeah some kind of um, um, not sort of triangle triangle like tones maybe more like between some triangle or si uh, sine wave so um, and I analyzed it and so, okay, there are some pedals uh, there. There are obviously all the time in the background where the tones in the lower range, so really deep tones uh, from the organ. So uh, I realized, okay, I need some kind of uh, pedals there. Maybe I could pre-record this, but uh, yeah, I just um, got curious. Maybe I could... Uh, play it and, and learn using the organ pedals as well like uh, just pressing the keys I'm not I'm really bad at playing the keyboard you, this. okay but um, 
yeah, I could learn it. You can, everyone can can learn everything, almost everything. Maybe you will not be the best, but um, it will be sufficient, at least sufficient to be satisfied with yourself. So, um, I thought about it as, um, yeah, and I um, couldn't sleep and I uh, check the interwebs uh, how much this, this things would cost and there were some tiny pedal sets with eight keys or whatever and uh, they are about 300 400 euros and then I thought okay maybe I I buy an old organ and uh, because they are the Hammond organs uh, uh, quite cheap to get but they don't have a MIDI interface and I like to have a MIDI interface so I thought I might maybe rebuild it or um, yeah modify them uh, now I could because I'm capable of to do some electronics um, but um, at this time I I didn't think about this okay this then I have a huge uh, um, organ here but um, yeah, I don't like this. I, I want some pedals. So um, I concentrated on the pedals and I saw, okay, this uh, wide range uh, pedal sets are super expensive. And um, I saw some projects, some, some uh, homemade stuff there. But um, yeah, they were always key on, key off. So you have uh, the, the closest one to my pedals that I have seen um, someone using read um, sensor so there's just a connection or no connection uh, using magnets so um, yeah I thought okay there is something something I, I if I build it myself I can do this better I can do um, aftertouch and I can can do velocity and I can do lots of stuff and can and I can reuse this for for any kinds of uh, play more than just organ so you can measure the magnetic field using Hall effect sensors and the strength of this magnetic field so I thought this is quite simple to just build the sensor and the magnet and then measure um, yeah the strength just by this distance, so the the distance determines the strength the the sensor is measuring, and you have everything for free inside of a uh, microcontroller. You have this ADC, and your uh, Hall effect sensor delivers uh, it delivers an analog uh, voltage to you. So you can select with your your microcontroller. You can select the channel or use an external um, multiplexer like I did. I did finally a mix of them both, but uh, yeah, you can just read one key by one key straight inside of the microcontroller and then send it to the computer. And um, yeah, this was a um, huge step, I thought at least, it, it is a huge step to uh, implement uh, MIDI and MIDI interface. It came out, it's really simple, it's just UART and um, you have this built in in your microcontroller and the Atmel Mega, it's, in, it's really inside. You have to, um, to do the timing and um, that's all. You can, just, you can just connect it to wires. There is there are so many projects handling this MIDI UART uh, interface uh, on the interwebs. It's, it's sufficient. You can just take it, see it, and that a few lines of code you can get this from my homepage as well, uh, my uh, MIDI interface, and just use it. It's uh, simple as that. You have to have this connector, and I uh, used. Um, a ready converter from from a USB to MIDI interface and uh, that's all I, I needed. On the PC it's quite simple. I'm using MIDI OX that's a yeah kind of um, 
monitor and um, routing from MIDI messages. Since the built-in MIDI wavetable of Microsoft Windows really sucks, um, I have used a virtual MIDI synth. It's a free um, tool from Coolsoft which allows you to load uh, sound fonts and um, yeah, use them as a MIDI output. So um, on the home page of this uh, virtual MIDI synth you have some links to free uh, sound fonts of hundreds of megabytes, uh, huge sound fonts. So uh, they are really good quality as you could uh, hear uh, from the organ. I have played right now and you have just to configure it correctly you have to go to the configuration and um, uh, set the lowest um, buffer size uh, of 2 milliseconds to have no latency or 2 milliseconds of latency between uh, the key on and the actual sound that is playing then you can play and hear immediately this magnificent sound so this is how all begun and uh, now yeah I'm satisfied with uh, the current state and I can do the software whenever I like to and uh, yeah it's sufficient it's at least sufficient to play uh, Akira soundtrack <laughs> right now so check out the next part uh, in bad quality how I started to build this thing <laughs>